All right, bunkers can be anything that you want, but there's some things you shouldn't use, such as barbed wire to keep people out of the playing area. Shipping crates make really good bunkers. They're built pretty strong. You can hide behind them, make little cities. Bunkers don't have to be expensive. You can use two by fours plywood. You can paint them to make them look whatever you want them to look. You can get recycled wood. You can get damaged wood. Home Depot and Lowe's has it all the time. Get it cheap. A little paint goes a long way. You can go to the paint department and then you get all the stuff that they return back. The purples, the greens, the oranges, the pinks, and you mix it all in five gallon bar barrels so it looks the same, and you go paint your damn bunkers. It looks great. It looks weird, but it looks good. Old surplus tents. One field had them. Styrofoam panels. That's me building a, a fort. It took rebar, sh stuck rebar down, and then they sprayed it with gunite. Never had to do anything to the bunker again. That was at D-Day. This was our field in Texas. Spools, we built fake facade walls. Where'd you get styrofoam? Um, there was a lake that was clearing out um, all the docks that had styrofoam, and they needed a place to get rid of it. And he got it for free, because they needed a place to dump it. Sandbags, great bunkers, inexpensive. Get a bunch of kids, put them together with boys club, girls club. Hyperball tubes, buildings, you don't have to enter a building. You can build four walls with windows, have them shoot through the windows and around the corners. Much better than let them go in the building because you can't ref them if they're in the building. If they go inside the building, they have a false sense of security and they get in there and they lift up their goggles, thinking that they're gonna be okay. And as soon as somebody come, rushes that building and shoots them with their goggles up, they're in trouble. Trenches, make them wide and shallow. Don't make them to where they can jump over them. People blow out their ankles and knees. Inflatable bunkers. Stakes, the stake on this one is sticking up out of the ground. Make sure it's down below the ground. Old movie props can be purchased real cheap. Fencing. There's a lot of contractors that take down fencing and put up new fencing. You can get whole panels of fences for free. Don't make your field look junky. That's a great example. He spent the money to build it, did it right, did it once. Castles will stairs. There is a right way. This is not the right way. <laughs> what will happen when they fall out of those stairs? They can be made safely. Um, this is EMR. Um, Mike Kenzie went through and redid all the wood on that because it was about 15 years old and made it real strong, built some strong stairs, handles several hundred people at a time in that castle. Great money maker. They don't need to be two-story. They can be on the ground, just give them the, the facade of playing in a castle. See all the paint on the wall, folks? By each window. Windows equal safety, windows equal more paint shot. That paint is piled on the ground. I, I don't know if you can see all this, but that's about 12 inches of paintballs and shells. All right, stairs are protected from the shot. See how he put the plywood on the side? He built it, um, built it really nice, built it nice and sturdy. And we told him all you need to do is protect the sides, and he did that. It took him about an hour and had it all set. He had a ramp going across his little lake here with nothing on the sides for them to fall into the water if they're running, lose their balance. So he had him put some posts up with some rope so he had some type of railings to keep them from falling over. Okay, before stairs, no rails, open areas to jump off. Would people jump off of this all day long right here? all day long right here. Here's about three feet from here to here. And we say, all right, come on, let's fix this. He's got about 18 inches from this step up to the top up there. Imagine I'd take out a few shins. Made some modification, stairs to code, block things off. Now it's a, we're able to ensure that now. We couldn't ensure the previous tower. Great prop here, military landing craft. 
Unfortunately, everything inside has shop corners and not built for people running around with cleats. Very slippery, so keep them out of it, but let them play around it. Make your structure strong, build it right the first time, invest some money into it so you don't have to keep doing it. Castles are money makers. See all the paint on that wall? Nickel, 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 nickel. There's probably $10,000 worth of paint on that one wall.